I welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship podcast. I am Vanita Santiago. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Thank you so much once again for taking your precious time to join our podcast. I am so glad that you are here and even I myself am so happy to preach the Word of God to you. Stay with me throughout this message and expect God to speak to you and God will speak to you. So before I get into my message, let's pray. Father, we come into your presence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, you are our God. You are our only one God. Besides you, there is none. The creator of the universe, the maker of heaven and earth, the God who owns the universe. We are so privileged to be your children, to be called your sons and your daughters, Father. Thank you so much for this great privilege to call upon your name. Thank you, oh Father, that you are on our side. The promotion comes from you. The exaltation comes from you. You are the God who sets the one who removes the other. The cup is in your hand. You are the righteous judge. Father, I pray that you do to us according to your word. Be it unto us according to your word. Father, I pray that you teach us more on this subject concerning promotion comes from you. Father, I pray that you help us to receive the promotion from you, Father. Lord, I pray that you prepare us for the promotion and you equip us, Father. Lord, I pray that you show us things to come, the things that are freely given to us of by God. Thank you so much for speaking to us through your word. Thank you for giving us word in due season. Thank you, Lord, that you heard and answered all my prayers. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. We have been studying on the subject called Promotion Comes from the Lord. Let's turn our text. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 8. For promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and sets up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he pours out of the same. So we understood that from last three weeks, God is the ruler of the universe and God is the righteous judge. He can promote you, he can exalt you and he can set you on high places. God can exalt you, God can promote you and he can do all the things that you are expecting from him and he is willing and he is ready to do. He is interested in your promotion. I know that I am saying this again and again because many people don't believe that God is interested in their promotion. Let me tell you something. Our God is a loving God and our God delights in your prosperity. Our God delights when his children are in good place. Our God delights and takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. That is the reason he sent his only begotten son to provide prosperity for you. Remember that, that our Lord Jesus Christ became poor so that you through his poverty might become rich. Wow, that is an amazing grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. He made you rich by becoming poor on the cross. That's an amazing love of God. See, if Jesus can give his life for you, how much more the things that he will give for you that you need in this world. He has eternally secured your future. You don't have to worry about your future, what is going to be in your future. When you look to God, your future is only one thing. Your future is going to be marvelous, beautiful, glorious and amazing and you will love your future when you look to God. So let's read, uh, let's look at some of the things. Last week we looked at concerning complaining. If you complain, you will remain in the same place. But instead of complaining, if you start giving thanks to God, and God is going to exalt you. God is going to promote you. Why will God 
think of promoting the people who are complaining you remember what happened in the wilderness with the children of israel the children of israel i am speaking about the first generation of the children of israel the people who came out of the egypt not the second generation the first generation of the children of israel failed to inherit their promised land one reason one of the reasons would be because of complaining why did they complain so much see they did not change their nature throughout the 40 years 40 years that same nature they continued with that this grumbling complaining and whining about problems that had become their nature they had developed themselves so much to complain about god you know the results what happened there they did not inherit their promised land and another thing every one of them died in the wilderness that's a sad ending isn't it god wanted to give them the promised land a land flowing with milk and honey which they did not labor for it they did not labor anything they did not do anything right in the sight of god to receive that promised land it is because of covenant that god made with the children of israel god made with abraham isaac and jacob based on that covenant god wanted to take them to promised land it is not because that they were so good it's because of the covenant and god loved them so much and he wanted to give them the best of the land Canaan land was the best land God wanted to give them best even though God wanted to give them they did not inherit see God from his side he always said that I'm going to give the land for these people but these people the first generation of the children of Israel never opened at any time not even once they opened their mouth to say what God said they never said at any time oh god is going to give that promised land for us they never see themselves owning that land they never looked into that glorious future what god had for them they always concentrated on the problem they always focused on the natural situation when the things are which um, little unpleasant they will start opening their mouth to complain against god to complain against moses and to complain against aaron nobody was their problem they were the problem they failed to fix themselves they failed to keep their eyes on god because of that reason because of that unbelief in god this unbelief will open a door for you to complain if you believe in god you will not complain you will look to god you will keep your rise on god that is the antidote for that complaint you start trusting god on one hand on the other hand you will not complain but that should be a continuous process in your life you should be consistent in believing what god has said about you because of this some unpleasant circumstances don't open your mouth and uh, fail to receive your promise which god wants to give you those things were written and given for our example for our admonition for us to learn a lesson from them we don't have to repeat the same mistakes what the children of israel did the reason the god has written some of the mistakes of the people in the bible so that we can be aware of that and not to repeat the same things so i encourage that don't complain about the things that what you have if you want to see promotion in your life start opening your mouth and start praising god look into the future what god has said based on his word see he has said in psalm 75 promotion comes neither from the east nor from the west look to your promotion from god and keep your eyes on him and be thankful to god what already god has given for you see god has blessed he is so good and he is so merciful to his children and he has blessed you with everything in your life nobody is lacking food 
and people are living in good shelter and see many people are on the road they don't have their home and they don't have the place to live in anywhere safely securely but that's not the case with you god has given you a house and god has given you a family and god has given you a good food see some people complain about food the some people complain about the food is getting cold the food is too oily the food is salty not nice they gripe and complain about the food see if you are complaining about the food what is in front of you there are many people would be happy to eat what you are eating they would be very happy because lot of people are dying in hunger they don't have what you are having they would be very happy to have the things and the stuff which you are complaining about there is one famous saying in america they say like this one man's trash is another man's treasure if you don't want something if you want to give it to somebody else and people are ready to have they are happy to have what you don't want i have learned that in my life quite so much god taught me in my life and first god told me in my life if you want to see promotion in your life stop griping about the problems stop complaining many times it will be it will do a great miracle in your life just to stop your mouth don't open your mouth to say anything which is not right in the sight of god see joshua the great general i am one of the person who likes joshua so much in the bible see that man is a great general a great leader he the before he conquered the jericho the first thing he told the second generation of the children of israel see joshua did not lead the first generation first generation everybody died in the wilderness joshua led the uh, the children of israel he, they were the second generation of the children of israel before they conquered the first city jericho he had given them one instruction joshua has received already a plan from god and god has given the battle plan i'm not going into detail about it you would have read that one i want to focus on only one thing here he told them when they are doing what god has told them to do to shut their mouth and don't open your mouth and speak anything see that's the commandment that he had given a command to the second generation of the children of israel just don't open your mouth see they did not open their mouth when they are marching around the city for 7 days they just shut their mouth and they go around the city and come back and rest this they did 7 days on the last day they have to go around the city 7 times and uh, that instruction what joshua had given them it helped them a lot they just shut their mouth while walking while marching around the city for 7 days if joshua would have allowed them to speak they would have spoken just like the first generation of the children of israel what would they speak hey we are walking here just because we are walking do you think uh, things will change out do you think that this wall will come down do you think it's going to happen do you think it's going to work yeah another person would say uh, i don't think it's going to work let's see that's unbelief that's the reason joshua said don't speak anything many times in your life what god has promised in your life if you want to see that promise come to pass in your life if you want to see that promotion if you want to hold on to that promotion if you want to experience that promotion in your life all you have to do is zip your lip and speak only what god has said your mouth will do miracles in your life if you learn how to control your mouth and dedicate your mouth to speak what god has said miracles and promotion will come and fall in your place it takes a lot i'm not telling if people are so used to complaining in their life it's not easy for them to change overnight see many people they think that uh, some people come to prayer and ask their pastor or somebody to lay their hands on them and to pray over them please pray for me i have this complaining nature that i should stop complaining 
of course pastor will pray over you uh, and pastor will lay hands on you and pray over you that you should not complain but what i want to say is that prayer alone will not change things in your life there is some effort that you have to put from your side you have to make a decision that i will not gripe and complain about my natural circumstances i will not complain and gripe about what's happening all the things in your life what's happening many times it won't be encouraging us many times they are unpleasant many times we will be tempted to speak during those time when the temptation comes for you to open your mouth to say something against god's word overcome the temptation by the word of god and jesus is there to help you paul says that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me if you have a complaining nature pastor has already prayed over you another thing is that you need to put effort from your side you need to start working on it okay i'm going to change this nature with the help of god with the strength of god i can do all things through christ who strengthens me i can stay without complaining today start doing that one day at a time you will i'm telling you if you have that nature see it took for me in my life almost 3 to 4 years to bring changes in me i was working constantly on it that i should not complain and many times i opened my mouth and uh, i have failed but god was merciful to me and he kept teaching me and he was so good to me and he never stopped teaching me and i said oh lord please forgive me i will not do that again <laughs> we say like that father this one time you forgive me next time i will not do no if you say like that again i went and did the same mistake which i had already asked for forgiveness why am i saying like that you need the strength of god every day every day you need god in your life without god we cannot do things what he has promised us in our life we need the help of god we need the strength of god on a daily basis how many times you have said to god lord this time once you forgive me next time i will not do it how many times have never did it in your life and there is a growth there is a process i am telling you i am not ignoring that you have to reach to that perfection you have to put effort from your side to make it to what god is telling to reach into that full maturity you won't become mature overnight or maybe 2 months or 6 months it's a lifetime process the kingdom of god is a way of living it's how you live it's not a period of time it's the way that you live so i i ask god for forgiveness again i went and did the same mistake again god has forgiven me and it took um, many years for me to and bring changes in me i need to work on myself see when you are expecting promotion from the lord all you have to do is work on your self development the growth in yourself invest in yourself the word of god invest the word of god on a daily basis into your spirit without the word of god you cannot overcome the temptation with your will power with your will power you are going to overcome little things but with god's power and with the help of god you can overcome great things you can crush the mountains whatever is standing big in front of you god is going to bring it down for your sake god will go before you and make all the crooked paths straight so that's why stop complaining and grumbling grumbling and complaining and start leaning on god start trusting god when you start trusting god you will be thankful to god when you are thankful to god with what you have today and god is going to add more stuff in your life the gratitude heart a grateful heart will receive more things from the lord and gri- grumbling and griping and whining god is not going to add more stuff in your life 
Why do you think that God would want to add more things in your life so that you can complain more? God doesn't like this complaining nature, this complaining attitude. God loves you. God wants to bring changes in your life before he takes you into the higher position. Before God sets you in a higher places, God is going to fix your character first. See, nobody is perfect. I am not teaching you here because I am perfect. I was taught by God. I was corrected by God many times. Many times when God was teaching me, it used to my my flesh used to feel and scream. Ah, why should I do this? It was hard and difficult on my flesh. Complaining was one of my nature. I had to change myself. Unless I had changed myself, and God would never had brought me this far what I am doing to you today. what i am preaching to you today see the, for me in my life god has called me into ministry i expect promotion and exaltation from god in the area of ministry no matter what you are doing in your life you may be pursuing a job and you may be you may be living from paycheck to paycheck or you may be owning a business or uh, pursuing a career or whatever wherever you are expect god to promote you always look for higher things always look for better things in your life do not be satisfied and stay in the same place do not park yourself there where you are god is the god of increase god is the not the god of stagnant he wants to take you to higher position no matter who you are i like that verse in psalm 115 verse 12 let's turn that scripture Let's read from uh, Psalm 115 verse 12 onwards. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord both small and great. I want to notice only one thing that's both small and great. I mean whether you are small or you are already have money, you have little money or more money. that doesn't make any difference for god for you to promote god is not telling for the people who are already rich ah you are so greedy why do you, why should i promote you you already have money why do you want promotion be happy stay there i don't want to promote you no god is not going to say like that god's word is same either whether you have a small business or big business god wants to make you a blessing to others if you are be if you are a blessing to five people in your house god wants to bless you bless people through you to more people god wants to add blessing in your life more blessing so that you can be a blessing to others today you may be a blessing for five people god wants to make you a blessing to 10 people and when you reach that level again aim for 20 and again when you reach that level again you aim for 50 keep adding keep adding growth grow yourself in put yourself in the lord and desire for the growth aspire and am am no aim for great things in your life don't settle down where you are god always wants to increase you cooperate with god and god wants you to take you into higher levels why is god interested in your promotion because when you stand in that position god expects you to glorify his name you have to stand there once you are promoted and exalted and you have to stay there and uh, share people that this is the lord's doing and it is marvelous in my eyes that's the testimony that god is expecting from you when god sets you in a higher position you represent god to the people that's the purpose god wants to promote you that uh, let you god wants you to be a blessing to others and god's name should be glorified through you next week we are going to look at some more things on promotion if this message is a blessing to you share this message with your friends with your beloved ones and or anybody else who needed some motivation message we are here to help you thank you so much for listening to this message god bless you jesus christ is coming soon